Well, people who love to read sometimes look for authors or stories they can relate to on a cultural level. That's the type of connection being built at a bookstore on San Antonio's west side. Ken's 5 anchor Audrey Castoreno looks into the bigger mission behind the only Latino bookstore here in Texas. In the heart of the west side, there's a place you can go to find the stories of this community. Anyone who had left their home and tried to find a new one in a strange place, at times welcoming and at times hostile, they should find themselves in the pages of the voices of Latino authors. Hot vapor enveloped us as I shoved open the front door. My mom was boiling beans in the kitchen and we would boil with them whose ancestral history in this portion of Texas. Scleroderma means survival, which does not always equate to living. Dates back hundreds of years. People are thirsty for this. People know that they're gonna walk in and just get a shock full of information uh, on books and um, knowledge where they can deepen their understanding. Uh, on the culture. The Guadalupe Latino Bookstore, open less than a year now, is a branch of the Guadalupe Cultural Arts Center. The hope for Executive Director Christina Bailly was to expand the center's literature program, which has fallen short over the years. This is special probably because there's only a handful of specifically Latino bookstores in the entire country. And I know there's not another Latino bookstore or Latinx bookstore in the state of Texas. So these are rare. Shelves filled with books written in both English and Spanish, offering a variety of authors like poet Carmen Tafoya. I have the chile under your skin, secretly wrapped in each enchilada. To so children's author Javier Garza. I love Pan de Muerto, says little Joaquin. I'm glad you like it, says his mama. It was always your father's favorite. So it's part of like Chicano literature. For the Aguirre family, some of the contacts of these stories sound familiar. It definitely made me feel happy when I came inside the store and saw all this Mexican stuff, like all these books about Mexican history. For mom Andrea Aguirre, the culturally specific bookstore is another chance to expose her boys to their heritage. And I want them to see themselves and to read about themselves. I want them to come in and feel like uh, I really matter. And a lot of the things that we've done really matter. Seeing those in, a, in an environment where we're not having to search out one book at those big um, top stores, that's really important. Right now, we're going back to some of the times where some of this information and knowledge about our culture and our history is being suppressed. We have seen how the Texas legislature is trying to bring some books under attack. We have seen this in other states. The Guadalupe Center providing a central place where the public can discover new titles. I have bencas growing out of my body, beautiful blue maguey veins stretching brown hands. And a space Latino authors know they can take their books. We will be the center for independent presses in Texas. We know that Latino authors have a hard time getting published. It's hard to get published, period, for anybody, for people of color, even more so. And anyone who has forged a self from pieces of many worlds to fit and not fit in a new home, who has balanced on many beams to understand different sides, yes, they should find themselves in these pages. A cultural gem to add to this already growing catalog of Latino voices and experiences. Like it's indigenous, right? Reporting from the West Side, Audrey Castoreno, Ken's Five. Now, the Guadalupe Latino Bookstore, located at the corner of Guadalupe and Brazo Street, is open Tuesday through Saturday from 12 to 6 p.m. On March 4th, they will begin their author series where every first Friday of the month, an author will host a reading and a book signing. All right, let's send things over to Bill real quick.